Hi guys, my name is Joelle. Thanks for joining me today. We have a power yoga 35-ish minute vinyasa for you today. So we're going to work through um, all areas of the body, but particularly focusing on twists today. So get ready for some deeper twists, some balance, um, and we'll also throw in some strong core and shoulder work for you as well. So let's get started. So we'll get started in a kneeling position today. So we'll have our heels tucked under our seat and bring the knees together at the front. If that doesn't feel good, you can take a cross-legged seat. We'll place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly and maybe gently closing down the eyes. And just starting to notice the natural rhythm of your breath. Connecting with that palm that's resting on the belly as the breath fills the belly and then moves higher into the lungs, all the way up into the chest, feeling the breath expand up to the crown of the head and then exhale all the way out. Breathing again in through the belly, rib cage expands, feeling the chest lift all the way to the crown of the head and the breath comes out. One more time. When you've completed that exhale, we'll take our hands to heart center, gently bow towards the chest. Namaste. Blinking open the eyes, we'll inhale, sweep the arms high, interlace the fingers, and we'll take the palms and reach them as high as we can up towards the sky. So flipping the palms and really press the arms away. Maybe gently walk, rocking side to side. Just trying to get some length through the side body. One more breath here and we'll exhale, taking the right hand across the body, gently resting it on the outside of the left knee. We'll inhale, get nice and long on the spine and then we'll gently twist over to the left, gazing over that left shoulder if it's available. On the inhale, arms come high again, breath in. Exhale, left hand to outside of right knee. Exhale into the twist, we'll lift. Crown of the head lengthens and then we twist to the right. Maybe turning to look over that right shoulder. Inhale, back up high. Got one more time with breath, exhale. Inhale. And exhale into the twist, over to the right. Breath comes in again, inhale. And this time we'll exhale, bring the arms wide as we reach behind the back, interlace the fingers and draw the palms together and toward the floor. So drawing the shoulder blades together. One more breath here. And release that. We'll take it into a tabletop position now. So coming onto all fours, hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Getting a nice long line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. We'll inhale and exhale. Draw the belly in, pressing into the hands, chin to chest. Taking some cat cow here. Breathing in and then we exhale, rounding through the back, getting space between the shoulder blades. One more time, breath in and exhale. Coming back to center, this time we'll flip the palm and take the left palm, turn the fingers. Inhale for cat and cow, exhale. So we get a bit more stretch through the forearm as we do it this way. One more round this side. Drawing that belly in, chin to chest and returning back to neutral spine, flipping the palm forward and then we take the right palm, fingertips face the knee, inhale and exhale. Mm. Got three rounds here. Exhale. One more time. And gently coming back to center, We'll turn that right palm forward and we'll tuck the toes, taking downward facing dog. So pressing it all the way, hips to the sky and just finding 
a little bit of a warm up in your dog. So maybe pedaling through the feet, maybe swaying the hips side to side. And finding stillness when you're ready. So in our downward facing dog, we press firmly into those finger pads. We spread through the entire palm. Drawing that chest toward the thighs with a, maybe a slight bend in the knees as you're warming up your dog, but energetically drawing the heels toward the floor as we lift the hips high. One more breath here. And we'll look to the top of the mat. Let's take a big step all the way up to the top. And we'll lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana, flatten the spine, and exhale, fold forward. Bend through the knees, sweep the hands high. Inhale all the way up, standing high, Tutita Tastasana, and hands come to heart center for Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Lift the collarbones. Ardha Uttanasana, and we fold forward. This time we'll take the hands and we'll maybe grab opposite elbows for ragdoll. So if that feels good, we can bend deeply through the knees, almost bringing the belly to rest on the thighs. Maybe swaying side to side. Maybe a gentle nod and shake of the head to release the neck. Got one more breath here. On the inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. And we'll take the legs and step them back. So right leg steps back and we'll find plank here. So again, nice strong line through that body. Think of the heels pressing back and they've got this long line of energy from the heels right away to the crown of the head. Hugging the forearms toward each other. Really engaging those belly muscles. One more breath here. And then we'll lower ourselves all the way down in one straight line, hugging elbows to rib cage, lowering down. Untuck the toes, so pressing into the tops of the feet, take the fingertips wide, so they're coming to the outer edges of the mat. And we'll inhale and gaze over that left shoulder. Exhale. It's a striking cobra here. Inhale. Exhale. Really pressing into those tops of the feet so we keep the legs active. One more, exhale, hands come alongside the body and we'll press all the way up into plank. One big breath and downward facing dog. Finding stillness here. Let's take the hands and walk them in about one hand width. So a little bit closer in your dog, so your dog becomes shorter. And then we'll take the right hand, reaching for the outside of either the shin or the toward the ankle or even the thigh, that's okay as well. And we're trying to twist. So what we wanna do is draw the chest underneath that arm. So we're taking a twist here, pressing through left palm. So get really firm and strong on that left palm. See if we can gaze up towards the sky. You've got this one more breath. And release that back. So right hand plants, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Reaching through, left hand comes to outside of the shin or ankle wherever you can grab hold of, and we press firmly through the right palm as we try to twist the chest up towards the sky. One more breath. And we can release that, finding your downward facing dog, settling in. One breath here. Look to the top of your mat, step all the way up, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And we fold forward, bend through the knees, inhale, sweep the arms high. Palms come to touch, exhale, cascade all the way down toward the floor. Halfway lift, inhale, and exhale. Plant the hands and we'll step the right foot all the way back. We'll drop the knee, untuck the back toes, inhale, sweep the arms high. We have our low lunge here, so right away switching on that right glute. Get nice and strong through that front leg. So pressing through the big toe of the front foot. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale to sink a little deeper into that lunge. On the next inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, we'll start to take the left arm back as we take right arm forward. So we're coming into this twist here. So staying lifted through the belly. Really engage those arms, so reach them as far apart as you can. Then we'll flip the palm, reverse, inhale. Exhale, right hand plants. 
we'll tuck the back toes and we'll reach that left arm to the sky for a simple twist. So really think of pressing the back of the right thigh towards the sky so that leg stays engaged. One more breath here. Exhale, hand comes to plant and we'll step back taking your vinyasa here. So chaturanga, you can drop to the knees if you need to. Finding your upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Looking to the top of the mat, we'll step the right foot forward this time. Untuck the back toes, inhale. Finding your low lunge here. So left glute switches on. We get lots of length through that spine. Think of the crown of the head reaching to the sky. On the inhale, we'll draw out of those hips. On the exhale, we'll start to twist left arm forward, right arm back. Really reaching those arms apart. Lifting through the chest, pressing into the big toe of the front foot. We'll flip the palm, reverse, and see if you can reach down the back of that thigh. On the exhale, plant the left hand, tuck the back toes, and coming into your simple twist here. Checking in with that right knee, make sure it's not splaying out to the side. We want it tracking over the big toe. One more breath. Exhale, right hand plants. This time we'll step back into plank, and then right away, we're going to come down into our forearms. So here we're in a forearm plank. So think of elbows directly underneath the shoulders, and we're pressing out through those heels. So we've got a nice long line through that spine. From here, we're going to come up onto left palm, and then we'll lift the right arm to the sky, coming into a side plank. Inhale. Exhale, coming back down into your forearm plank. And then from here, we'll press into right palm, side plank. Exhale. You've got this. Left palm, right arm lifts. Exhale. Reaching that left arm to the sky, side plank. We've got one more each side. And finishing with that right forearm to the floor. Coming onto that right palm, inhale. And exhale, take your vinyasa. Breath in, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog is where we meet. Looking to the top of the mat, stepping all the way up. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bend through the knees, sweep the arms high. Breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. And we'll plant the hands, stepping back with the right foot. This time, we'll engage those legs and reach the arms high, finding our high lunge here. So very similar to low lunge, and if you prefer, you can take low lunge, that's fine. But in our high lunge here, we're high on the ball of that back foot. So heel is lifted off the floor, strong through those hands, reach for the sky. Inhale. We'll bring the hands into Kali Mudra. So interlace the fingers. Release the index fingers, thumbs come to touch, and we'll start to reach over to the left side so we feel a nice stretch through the right side body. Watching those wobbles. One more breath. And inhale, coming back high. This time, we'll twist right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale. And exhale. You've got this. One more breath. Exhale, flip the palm, and we'll reverse it. Reach the arm high, finding your reverse warrior. Exhale, planting the right hand to the floor. Inhale, the arm all the way to the sky. On the exhale, we'll circle that arm around, and we'll bring the hands to heart center into prayer. So drawing the shoulder blades down the back, we're hovering over that thigh. On the inhale, think of drawing the chest forward, and on the exhale, we'll twist over. So we're taking a revolved twist here and revolved side angle rather. And we're pressing into the big toe of the front foot as we try to bring the chest towards the thumbs. One more breath, you've got this. Coming back to center, we'll sweep it back high, inhale. And then we'll turn the back foot parallel with the short edge of the mat, finding our warrior two. So sinking into that warrior here. And we want to think of those legs energetically drawing together. And we'll flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Inhale. 
exhale, finding warrior two. We'll start to bend into that back leg and take skandasana here. So we're bending into that knee, finding your skandasana, maybe all the way down, maybe staying lifted. From here, we'll plant the left hand and reach right arm all the way to the sky. Inhale, we'll come back to warrior two. Exhale, we'll find skandasana with the twist. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Exhale. One more time, planting the hand. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. And we'll windmill the arm all the way to the floor and we'll step it back, finding your vinyasa. And we will meet in downward facing dog. Looking to the top of your mat, right foot steps forward all the way up. Inhale, sweep the arms high. So we're taking high lunge on this side. Back heel is lifted and we're on the ball of that back foot. Drawing the belly in. Let's take Kali Mudra, inhale. And this time we bend over and stretch over to the right. So taking those arms so you feel this nice long stretch all the way along the left side body. One more breath. Inhaling back up to center. And this time we'll exhale, taking right arm back, left arm forward. Circle that arm high. Inhale. Exhale. Sweep it high. Breath in. And we exhale. One more time. Breath in. And exhale. Start to plant the left hand, reaching right arm to the sky for a simple twist. Exhale. Circle that arm around. And then we'll come into prayer. So we've got prayer at the chest. We're leaning forward, getting really strong in those legs. From here, we'll inhale to get a bit of length in the spine and exhale, hooking that left elbow over right knee, bringing the thumbs towards the heart and working to twist that chest to the right. Maybe starting to gaze over the right shoulder. You've got this one more breath. And we'll come back to center, inhale high. Back foot spins parallel with the short edge of the mat, we open up to warrior two. So sinking into that front thigh. See if you can reach those fingers apart, gaze over that middle finger. And then we'll flip the palm, reverse the warrior, inhale. And exhale, coming back to warrior two, we'll start to take skandasana. So sitting into that back heel, you can come low or staying up here perfectly fine. On the inhale, let's plant the right hand, left arm reaches for the sky. On the inhale, coming back to warrior two. Inhale and exhale, skandasana, find your twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, finding warrior two again. And we'll reverse the warrior and come all the way down. Stepping back and holding here in plank. So taking a breath. You've got this. Now from here, we're going to take a little bit of a variation. So we're gonna lift the right leg away from the floor and we'll hover it. We'll bring the knee all the way down to the wrist and then bring it back up. Knee to elbow, extend it, and then knee to shoulder. Bring it all the way back, switching sides, lifting left foot, hovered away from the floor. We've got knee to wrist, back to center, you've got this, knee to elbow, back to center, and then knee to shoulder. And bringing it all the way back. We'll take one more breath here, and press back, downward facing dog. Finding your dog. Taking a breath here. We're gonna do that again. So rolling all the way back into plank, lifting the right leg away from the floor, hover it. Let's take knee to wrist, back to center, knee to elbow, exhale. Exhale, knee to shoulder, and bring it back to center. 
Inhale, left foot. Exhale to the wrist. Inhale. Exhale to the elbow. And one more. Exhale to the shoulder. And vinyasa. So lowering all the way down. Taking your upward dog. Meeting in downward facing dog. <sighs> Good work. One breath here. Side out the mouth. <sighs> Looking to the top of the mat. We'll step all the way up. And we'll take halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Sweep the hands high. Breath in. Exhale, hands come to heart center. In Tadasana. Taking a moment here to let the breath settle. Maybe closing down the eyes. When you're ready, blink those eyes open and we're going to take chair here. So sitting the weight back into the heels, we'll sweep the arms low and then bring them high into chair pose. <clears throat> so in our chair, we want the weight distributed towards the heels and we want to think of drawing the lower ribs and the hip points together. So instead of having this pelvic tilt back, we want to think of drawing the pelvis forward. So from chair pose here, we're going to transfer the weight to the left foot and draw the right knee all the way up to the chest into stork pose. Hands will come to heart center in prayer and we'll cross the right foot over the left knee. Sitting the hips down and back so we get this figure four. If you'd like, you can stay here or if you'd like more, you want to find a drishti, draw the belly in, get length in the spine and then take the right elbow to the sole of the right foot. So we get this twist here and balance. It's very challenging. so. Work with it as you can and try and just have a sense of humor about the whole thing. Keep rolling that left shoulder open. One more breath and then we'll release that inhale. Ooh, find the wobbles. <laughs> inhale and back into stork. And then we'll take a forward fold all the way to the floor into our standing splits. So right leg is coming high. So in standing splits, it doesn't really matter how how you lift the leg. We want to think about keeping that leg straight as we draw the chest down towards the shin. And maybe we take the left hand, we hook it behind the shin or behind the ankle, and we use that to draw the chest and the crown of the head even further toward the floor. Got one more breath. Gently releasing that. Look to the top of your mat and we'll take the left hand and place it a few inches forward of that foot. So hand is directly underneath the shoulder. And we'll start to open up the right arm all the way to the sky. We're finding Ardha Chandrasana here. So keep that left standing leg, the knee soft. And we're opening up the right arm, extending through the right leg. Keeping the gaze soft if you want to some help with your balance by gazing at the floor. Or you can look all the way up to the sky if you want to challenge yourself. Option here to start to bring that foot towards the heel and grabbing around the top of the foot, we can open the shoulder and the hip even further, including the quad in that. One more breath. You've got this. And we'll start to release that all the way down and we'll step back, finding warrior two. Sweep the arms high, inhale. Finding your warrior two, sinking it here. On the inhale, we'll flip the palm, straightening through that leg, inhale. And then we'll reach that arm forward on the exhale, finding Trikonasana. So reaching the arm forward as far as you can before we then take that hand to the floor, opening through the top arm. So really think of pressing into the outer edge of the back foot and into the big toe of the front foot. One more breath here. And rebending through that knee, planting the hand. And we'll step that foot back, three-legged dog. Inhale. And exhale, bringing it all the way to the floor. This time, we're going to come down onto our forearms. So we're in downward facing dog on our forearms. And then from here, we're going to start to walk the feet in for dolphin. So keeping that head away from the floor, we've got the forearms parallel. You've got this, pressing the chest toward the thighs. One more breath. And then we'll walk the feet out one step again. So we're in our forearm down replacing dog. And from here, we're going to do some dolphin push-ups. 
So take the hands and interlace them and we're pressing into those forearms. We bring the chest back towards the thighs and then hover forward into plank. Exhale, press back. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> You've got this. Inhale, pressing back. Exhale, really building up strength through those shoulders. Two more. And one more. You got this. And we've got to walk those hands underneath the shoulders, pressing it up and downward facing dog. If at any point you feel the need to take a child's pose, please do so. <sighs> Let's do that together. Inhale through the nose. Exhale at the mouth. <sighs> Look to the top of the mat. Let's step all the way up. Halfway lift. Inhale. Ardha Uttanasana. And we fold forward for Uttanasana. Bend through the knees. Sweep the arms to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come to heart center. We have one more side to do. Inhale. Bend the knees. Coming into chair. Exhale. Reaching the arms high. So finding your chair here again, weight in the heels, drawing those shoulders away from the ears, tailbone draws toward the floor. This time we'll transfer the weight to the right foot and we'll draw the left knee up towards the chest for stork pose. Get strong here, hands come to heart center and we'll take that figure four, so crossing the foot over. And really important to find a focus point before we twist, so finding your drishti getting nice and stable and then maybe taking the left elbow across to the sole of the left foot pressing through the toe of that standing leg drawing the right shoulder away and think of also drawing the left hip back so we try and keep the hips in alignment you've got this one more breath doing so well and we'll come back to center inhale Back up to stork pose and exhale, fold forward, finding our standing splits. So trying to keep the hips even, drawing the crown of the head toward the floor. So we really get light through that left leg. And then again, option to grab behind the shin or the ankle, drawing that crown of the head, lifting the left leg a little bit higher. One more breath. Look to the top of the mat, hand comes a few inches in front of that right foot, and we'll start to open up the hip into Ardha Chandrasana. So reaching the arm, left arm up to the sky, opening up, and just checking in with that standing foot and make sure that the toes are pointing forward. And then option to grab around the foot and open up through the shoulder and hip getting a nice stretch through the quad and enjoying all the wobbles. <laughs> One more breath. And releasing that all the way. And coming out of that, we'll take our warrior two. So big step back and spin the arms open. Refinding warrior two here. Flip the palm, we'll straighten through that leg, inhale and start to get long through that spine. So we're reaching that arm forward, getting lots of length. And then we tip forward, inhale, pressing through the big toe of the front foot, outer edge of the back foot, trying not to lock out the front knee. So keeping a soft bend there. One more breath here. And we exhale, bend into that knee, plant the left hand and we'll step it back. We've got one more round of those dolphin push-ups. So we'll start by coming onto our forearms. So elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. Palms are spread and hands are facing down. We'll walk the feet in. First finding our dolphin. So just getting strong here in our dolphin. Pressing the chest toward the thighs. Crown of the head is lifting away from the floor. Let's take three breaths. One more breath here. And then we'll walk the feet back. So coming more into our forearm downward dog. Interlace the hands. And we've got those dolphin push-ups. So we come forward. Chin comes forward, chest comes forward. And we press back, downward facing dog. 
You may need to adjust your feet a little bit until you get this, the right positioning for the body. We're coming forward. Inhale, exhale, press it back. Inhale, exhale. You've got this three more. Inhale and exhale. Two. Using the core here, using those shoulders. One more time. You've got it. And then we'll press up, replace the palm where the elbow was, other side, and downward facing dog is where we meet. We've got one more vinyasa, so rolling forward into high plank here, lowering all the way down. Inhale, and downward facing dog, coming all the way back into child's pose. You've earned it. Letting the breath settle. Just taking a moment here to reground. From here, we're going to slowly walk the arms back and we'll come to a seated position. So starting off cross-legged, <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall. Let's just take a breath here, so sweep the arms high. Inhale and exhale, hands come to heart center. So from here, we're going to take half Lord of the Fishes pose. So we'll extend left leg out and right leg comes over the left and we press that big toe of the right foot into the floor. Sitting up nice and tall. We'll inhale. Exhale, start to twist over to the right. So a few options here. If you'd like, you can hook the left elbow to the outside of right knee. If that's too much, you can just hug this way and draw that knee in toward the chest. If, you're, if you've got the hook of the elbow, you're lifting the chest on the inhale. And on the exhale, we start to twist to look over that right shoulder. So think of continuing to draw the crown of the head all the way to the sky. And we're twisting from the middle spine, so the middle thoracic and the upper thoracic. But within the lower spine, we just wanna think of lift. So no twisting through the low back, but lifting through the low back, twisting through the middle and upper spine. Got one more breath here. And when you've completed that exhale, we'll come back to center and we'll just do a counter twist. So take the hands over to the left, forehead comes down to the floor. Inhale back up and we'll repeat that on the other side. So extending through the right leg, left foot comes over right and we press into the big toe of that left foot. We sweep the arms high, inhale, exhale, start to twist open toward the left, hooking or bringing that knee in towards the chest. On the inhale, we get nice and tall through the spine, and on the exhale, we begin to twist and look over that left shoulder. And as we twist with the upper body, we don't forget, want to forget about the lower body, so we're keeping the right foot flexed, and we've got the left toe pressing into the floor. So this is engaging all different parts of the body. We've got one more breath here. And we'll exhale, counter twist, and come back to center. Releasing that from here, we'll come to our mat. We'll keep the feet <clears throat> on the floor. We'll bring the hands behind us. So we want the fingertips facing forward. And from here, you have the option to keep the knees bent with soles, on the soles of the feet on the floor, or you can extend the legs out. <clears throat> hands pressing into the floor. We're going to lift the hips up toward the floor, drawing the shoulder blades gently together as we try to press the big toes into the mat, lifting the hips away. You've got this. One long line. If you feel like the neck can handle it, you can draw the head back. Gazing behind us, keep lifting the hips. Everything is engaged. One more breath and exhale. Great work. Coming all the way down to the floor, so maybe shift the heels a bit forward. If you need to, sit up nice and tall, reach the fingers forward, and lowering all the way down. One vertebrae at a time. We're going to finish here with a simple twist, so knee comes into the chest, 
and we'll bring that right knee across the chest. Maybe extending the right arm out, gazing over that right shoulder. And one more breath. And we'll come back to center and we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Right knee, left knee rather comes into the chest. Right leg is extended. And you may need to shift the hips to the left a little. Left knee across the body and maybe opening through left arm. Gazing over the shoulder. At this point we're trying to make this stretch quite passive so we don't need to use the right hand to leverage onto that thigh, just gently placing it there. Letting the body naturally open up on its own. One more breath. And very slowly coming back to center. Let's give ourselves a big hug. He's drawn to the chest, arms wrap around the legs. Draw the forehead to the knees. Give yourself a big hug. Well done. And releasing that all the way out. Finding your Shavasana if you have time to spend a few minutes here. Otherwise, I thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.